I can't believe this. I have finally finished my camper van conversion. I've got everything on the inside, insulation, vapor barrier, units. I am finally ready to go on my first adventure. Wrong! You haven't sealed your plastics on the outside. Do you want to know what happens if you don't do that? Watch this. I kinda like you. What's happening everybody? It's Adam from Blackrock Outfitters here. Today I'm going to be exposing one of the biggest design flaws I have ever seen in my life. I'm talking about these your plastics on your Sprinter or your Crafter. It's the same van, it's the same setup and they're put on the same way. If you don't know about this, these plastics are the biggest cause of rust and rot on Sprinter vans to date. These are held on with plastic clips and that's it, which is fine, but that plastic clip actually goes through onto the inside of the van and if they get brittle and they break, they start leaking and all of the water which we're having now, all your rain, all your winter weather, all your snow, that leaks to the inside of the van. It sounds mad and how they can get away with doing this, I'll never know. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove these trims, how to seal them up and how to reinstall them back on the van. Keep watching and I'll go through it step by step. So let's take a little look at this side. On these particular pieces of trim, on both sides of the wheel and on the wheel arches, on the doors, you've got a securing pin that secures the plastics to the vehicle. To get those out, you're going to need a T20 Torx bit. If you just gently slot that into the head of the screw, sometimes it will go in, there we go, it's gone in. Sometimes they tend to get caked up with mud and dirt off the road. If you give it a wiggle and get that dirt out, that will sit in there nice and snug. All you need to do now is get your ratchet, undo the pin and we can move on to the next step. Right then, so step number two is getting the actual trim started to pop it off the vehicle. Some people struggle with this, some people find it relatively easy. It all depends on what you're like mechanically and working with your hands, etc. I'm going to do this pretty much the easiest way that you can do it. It's a bit brutal, but if you go steady, it's more than enough to get the, to get the trim piece started. I'm going to take a, a flathead screwdriver. You can either use a flathead screwdriver, you can use a big plastic trim tool. To be honest, it does the same job. You're not going to be hacking this to pieces, you just want to get the, the trim clip started. What's probably going to happen is, this is going to start popping off. The clips may stay inside the holes that they're meant to be in, or they'll come out and they'll stay in the plastic. It just depends on different vans. So. This van has only done 26,000 miles from new, so I'm guessing it's going to be in relatively good condition behind. I may have a surprise and it may not be, you don't know, we, we'll see when we get there, but here we go. This is how to start it off. If you just slip the screwdriver in behind there and just give it a pull, you heard that click. That means that one of the trim pieces is actually, yeah, it's stayed inside because I can see behind there. I'm going to do the same on the bottom, just nice and gently. And there we go. You want to do that all the way down. I'm going to pan the camera out and I'm going to show you how to get that off in real time uh, and work your way down the panel. It's not too difficult. Just take your time, take it steady and it will come off. Okay, as you can see, some of the clips have stayed in, some of the clips have stayed in there. It doesn't matter, we're going to fetch these out anyway. What you will need to do is disconnect this light. Now, these are a little bit tight and they can be a bit, bit hard to get out. It's just literally twist it and it will come out. So, there we go. All you want to do with that is just leave it loose, just try not to damage your light bulb. And uh, that's it, that's the panel off. I'm now going to show you how to remove these because these can be a little bit tight, but I'll show you how to get them out. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the clips. Now, when you take the actual trim off, these are going to be in the vertical position. 
These have got two little tabs inside the hole that you want to pop out. So I found it a lot easier to actually turn that horizontally. If I pull that to one side and pull that back, you can see the, the clip uh, ear just inside there. All you want to do is take a very small flat, flat screwdriver and just pop it out. The same goes for the other side. If you're just gentle and you pop it in, it'll come out. Now, that is all that is stopping the water from going into your van. You can see how deep that is. That's inside the van. Why not seal that? I mean, I don't know why they don't do this from the factory. I mean, when you pop the plastics off, these stay in anyway. So why don't they just seal it up? It just makes sense, but never mind. There we go. Uh, I'll show you the other issue as well. I'm just gonna reposition the camera and I'll see you in a second. So as I've just shown you, the clip is now out. That hole there goes straight into the van. There's only one thing worse than that. It's this. Now, I don't know what these are. I don't know what they're for. I don't know why they use this particular material, but this is about the size of a 50p. Now you can already see that that is starting to peel off. Now, I'm guessing that that is just maybe like a sticker. It look, you know like the old puncher repair pads? That's what that looks like. Now you can see that that's going quite brittle. This is a 60 plate van, by the way. Um, it's not brand new, obviously, but that just gives you some indication. So if you've got a 2007 or a 2006, these are gonna be in pretty bad condition unless you've already done this job. Now, over time, that's gonna split and obviously come off. So I'm just gonna prise that back and I'm gonna show you what's underneath there. Are you ready for this? Oh, look, there's your insulation. And that's all that's stopping it. And that, if you look at the state of it, it's already started leaking, look, you can see the water that has gone down on the inside of the van. This is, by the way, just a bogus piece of insulation. I haven't actually insulated the whole of the van inside. I've done this purely to show you what you're going to be going onto with your water. Look at that, that's a watermark. So that would have been leaking on the inside of the van from, from I don't know, a couple of years after the van was made, maybe. It's just shocking. Is that log from where it's been manufactured or the panel's been made or what? I mean, there's two there for a start and if you work your way down the van, there's more. There's not just a couple. It's absolutely shocking, but we're going to fetch these off. I'm going to show you how to seal these back up um, and, and just get it watertight because that, that's just a joke, isn't it? I mean, look at that. Onto your fresh insulation as well. Shocking. Right, see you on the next one. So let's talk about the 50p discs that were on the van. They were about that sort of size, absolutely useless for keeping the water out. We're gonna recreate our own. Now, I'm using some graphic vinyl, which is used for stickers on vehicles. If you go to any graphic design place, I'm sure they'll have an offcut of white or whatever color your van is. Just give them a couple of quid. They may be even just give it you out the bin. You know, it, it's only just offcuts anyway that we're gonna need. Now, a little tip for you. We're looking for about a 50p size piece, so, a bottle top, that's off a mouthwash lid. You know, it's just simple, it's quick. Just draw around that. You don't need to go too over the top. I mean, it's gonna be hidden anyway. Just keep it the nice sort of same size as it was on the vehicle. All you need to do then is just cut this out. It's gonna be a perfect replacement for what we've taken off. It's not gonna leak. It's gonna stand the test of time and it's gonna blend in nicely. You will get a little bit of bleed, obviously, because the sealant that I'm using is black. Now, I know a lot of people out there are gonna moan about that. They'll say, why don't you use white? The particular adhesive that I like to use is black. It's quite thick. It's what a bond window's on with. It's gonna be hidden, so I'm not gonna have any issues with that. There's your disc. All you need to do now is peel the back off, apply some uh, adhesive to the vehicle, and stick this on the top. Job done. Nice and simple, and it's a really, really good fix. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the vehicle now and I'll show you what to do. And the next step is just to take your sealant, whichever sealant you've chosen. You don't wanna to go too mad on the, the sealant side of things around right this hole. Um, it's only just enough to just seal it. I know it sounds mad, but people do cake these in, uh, in sealant and there's just no need to. So just go steady around the edge the top end, you don't want to put too much on because you may get some squeeze out at the top and it may be able to be seen from the uh, from the top of the trim. So all we do now, we just take our, our little disc that we made, peel it off, 
don't go too far to the top as I say because you may see it you may see it when the trim is on and all you do is just push it down until you get a nice bead on the edge of the disc now I know the purists of you out there are probably thinking why didn't he use wide sealant yeah fair enough I'll take that but in my defense I log this particular sealant it always works for me I've used it on windows I've used it for bonding interior pieces on it's a good quality sealant and it's going to be covered by the panel to be fair so it's not really an issue for me if you want to use white sealant more than welcome you know you use what you feel comfortable with at the end of the day if, as long as that's sealed up that's all that matters I'm happy with that job I think that's going to work really well I know it's not going to leak in the future I'm going to move on to the one next to it I'm going to do that one um, and then I'm going to show you actually how to reinstall the the plastic trim okay see you in a sec now as you saw when I removed the trim from the vehicle these clips some of them stayed in the actual panel some of them stayed in the van the ones that I've got out now need to go back into the panel they're quite easy to push back in there's a nice little slot there that goes with the wings of the pin and they literally just clip in I'm just going to pop those back in and then we're going to put some sealant on the clips So let's talk about the sealant that I'm going to be using. The one that I've chosen today is actually Sikaflex. It's not as thin as bathroom sealants, if you like. It's actually a little bit thicker. It's what I use to bond the windows onto vehicles with, so I know it's actually going to stand the test of time and it's not going to leak. If you go for a bathroom sealant, they can be quite thin, they can peel off. I mean, if you look in your bathroom, I guarantee at one point you will have seen some silicon that's peeling and you've had to redo it. With this, you don't have to do anything like that. As I say, it's quite thick. All we're gonna do is put a bead around the clip. I'm gonna do that for each and every clip, and then we're gonna actually put the trim back on the vehicle. So let me do that now, and then I'm gonna show you how to get it back on the vehicle. Okay, I'm back in position. What I'm gonna do now is just carefully reconnect the side light into the uh, trim. Just be careful because obviously you've got your sealant on the inside of this panel now. Now that's in. It's just basically a case of offering up the clips to the van. Please be aware, as I said, there is adhesive on here. Don't put your fingers over the top and grab the pins. Obviously it's gonna go on your fingers and it'll go on the trim. All you need to do is basically offer that up into a couple of the holes and, the, and it will literally locate itself. Now, because of the adhesive on the back of this trim, you do need to give it a bit of a bang with your fist. Don't go too mad, because obviously you don't want to shock the solid light, but sometimes you'll hear them click like that one. Just work your way down. That click then, I don't know if you heard that. And that is it. That is how to seal the solid plastics on a Sprinter or a Crafter. You can't see any of the stickers at the top that I've put on the back. It's fitting really well. There's no overhanging, there's nothing actually sticking out. You can't see any sealant. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the T20 torque screw back in there and that's it, that's the job done. Woo! Come on, give yourself a clap, congratulations. You've just saved your sprinter van from death by rust. <laughs> Joking aside, for 15 quid, is that a fix or is that a fix? All you've got to do is just do it, repeat it, do it, repeat it, just work your way around the van and you'll save your van. I know it sounds daft but you won't get any water ingress, you won't get any dirt, water, snow, mud, anything. Totally watertight, jobs are good and 
literally, it's probably going to save your van. And I'm not exaggerating. The amount of times I've seen vans that have been rusted to pieces because of that, it's, it's absurd, honestly. Right, that's it. That's the job done. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, it'd mean the world to me. Um, give it a like, give it a share, and turn on the bell notification as well. Next time we upload a video, you'll be the first to know. Um, leave me a comment as well. I always like to interact with the comments on the bottom. So, yeah, I'm sure there's uh, some feedback that you'll give me. Uh, the videos are all about having a good time, showing you little tips and tricks that I know. Um, and that's it, really. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you later.